If you're just beginning inside of Vim or using Vim motions inside your current editor and just feeling lost, then this tutorial series might help you out. What we're going to be doing and what we're going to be covering is how to efficiently use Vim and Vim motions. So how we're going to accomplish that is by playing a little game and I'll be walking through each of the levels with you one by one. Now this game is called Vim Adventures. It's hosted on side of a web page called vimadventures.com. You can pay for a license and the license is pretty cheap but you have to pay for it every six months. But if you're serious about getting into using Vim and being more efficient, especially if you're a beginner, this I feel like is a pretty good start. And if you just commit daily to trying to play a level or two a day, you will notice, just like I have, significant improvement in my Vim actions. Let's go ahead and show. This is what the game looks like usually when you load it up. Let's go ahead and get started. So level one. Level one, you'll be just drop into the middle of this island here, we notice that we have these keys surrounding our cursor. Our cursor is this black box that is blinking. Now that black box that is blinking, if we try to use the arrow keys to move, it will technically work, but we want to be good Vim boys. Okay. So since we're going to try to be good Vim boys, we're going to use the H, L, J, and K keys. So our home row keys to move. Now, this little pattern is telling us that if we hit the H key, we move over to the left. If we hit the L key, we move over to the right. Now, if we hit the J key, we go down. We hit the K key, we go up. All right, so pretty basic. If you're already used to Vim and you Vim have some familiarity with the Vim bindings, then this should feel pretty normal to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow this path, talk to this little guy. This guy says, hooray, I can't believe it. The shadowy cursor has come at last. Soon the old prophecy will be fulfilled. So we're just gonna kind of move along here. Uh, we could go up and around, but we'll soon find out if we go this path that we're kind of blocked and there's not a whole lot that we can do, right? So I, I kind of just traverse all that way around for no particular reason. Um, I mean, I, I can still progress through the level, but I could have taken this shortcut over here. If we look, there's like a little ramp. I can just go up, boom, but I can't move back. But you know, that's a little caveat for, to the game. Remember, we're just trying to learn the motions and this is trying to teach you and force you to, to learn different ways of movement. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up and let's see what this little person has to say. There's a built-in help system in this game. If you ever need a full explanation and example on what key, what a key does or how it is used, just type colon help followed by the key. For example, colon help J, without the quotes, obviously. The help screen for a specific key will also be displayed when you collect a key. So if I, that's kind of the point of this game is we're gonna be collecting keys, keys and keys. It's kind of, it's, you know, you can probably see the little key, the gold key floating on to, to the right of my screen, but we're gonna be uh, collecting actual like letter keys as well. This little uh, dialogue is telling us that sometimes there's gonna be variations of those keys. So the way that a J and capital J may not interact the same way. So you just wanna make sure that you, if the help uh, docs don't tell you, you can just do the capital version of that. So for instance, let's hit colon help j so it pops up this little help screen it tells us it's a down and then it gives us this little uh, box of information that's pretty useful to be honest and another really cool thing about this is that we can actually move through examples so if you notice there's a little code block at the very bottom it tells us that we can run through it by hitting the plus key or the minus key so if i hit the plus key you can see that the example kind of uh, subtracted one character up to at the top. If I hit the minus key, we're back. So if, you, uh, if you're tracking what I'm saying, if I hit plus, the example goes down, plus again, then we hit two down and the cursor jumps two down. So it's just kind of a good way to, uh, if you're unfamiliar with what a specific key does or if you forgot, it's a really good way of revisiting what that specific key does. So we're good, we're gonna hit escape, move down, I'm just still moving around using our regular bindings and I'm just going to move over to this ramp. We can talk to this person up here. Yippee! All right. So to reach the treasure chest, you should know words are separated by spaces. You need W, E and B buttons capital to navigate the words. So let's go down. 
and around. So basically they're saying that there's that, that treasure chest, uh, we can't technically access it now. So there is something that I can do to see what my active keys are, right? So there's like another little command. I can H, J, K, L, and colon. I'm gonna hit escape, move down, move around, and I'm just trying to get this key. We got the key. I know that just from experience that I, I know that I will not be able to grab that treasure chest. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go towards this door, which kind of looks like a wooden door with a keyhole up here. I'm gonna unlock it with our key and move over. We're gonna talk to this person here. They're telling us moving up or down to a shorter line, i.e. into water, moves you to the last column in the shorter line. But if you keep moving to a longer line, you'll end up in the same column where you started. So that's kind of an interesting and confusing thing here, right? So basically what they want us to do is they want us to move all the way up. And what they're saying is as long as I, I started here and I keep hitting the down key, I will just basically traverse through the end of the lines all the way to the end, boom. So you see it, if you if you look, we just matched, even though this one was longer, we matched the, the same column length at the top where we started. So that's all it was trying to tell us. And the same can be true for moving up. So move up, move up, move up, right? Again, same deal here, move up, up, up. And if you're a little lost, I would just try to kind of run through that again, pause the video, rewind it, kind of see what I did. All I was doing was making sure my cursor was at the end of the line and just either moving up or down. So we're gonna go talk to this person. They say, very good, oh shadowy one. You just learned H, J, K, L skill. Go on, escape. And now we have completed level one. 